we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sing and dance the hip hop tootie ta, okay? So I hope you're ready to move with me this morning. Here we go. All right, can you step side to side with me? the carpet for me. Find your spot where you want to sit. We're going to get started with our stories this morning. Can anybody guess what might be in all of our books and stories today? No, monsters, that's right. Now, sometimes when we think about monsters, we think about big scary monsters, don't we? Yeah, but in our books today, we're going to have cute, cuddly, fluffy little monsters, okay? They're fun, and our first book, actually, well, I don't know if he's so cuddly. This monster, he does have horns, doesn't he? And this is called, There Was an Old Monster. Oh, let's open it up. Let's see what happens in our story here. All right, here we go, friends. There was an old monster who swallowed a tick. I don't know why he swallowed the tick, cause made him feel sick. Ooh, 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 ooh. Next, that old monster, he swallowed some ants. He took a big chance when he swallowed those ants. Cause man, those ants had him dancing in his pants. <laughs> he swallowed the ants to catch the tick, but it didn't do the trick. Cause he still felt <coughs> sick. Then that old monster, he swallowed a lizard, yanked open his gizzard, and he swallowed that lizard. He swallowed that lizard to catch the ants. 
because man, those ants had him dancing in his pants. He swallowed the ants to catch the tick, but it didn't do the trick, cause he still felt sick. Next thing I know, he swallowed a bat. Could you imagine that when he swallowed that bat? He swallowed the bat to catch the lizard. He swallowed the lizard to catch the ants, cause man, those ants had him dancing in his pants. Then he swallowed the ants to catch the tick, but it didn't do the trick, cause he still felt oh, so sick. Then that old monster, he swallowed a jackal. I swear I heard him cackle. <laughs> when he swallowed that jackal. He swallowed the jackal to catch the bat. He swallowed the bat to catch the lizard. He swallowed the lizard to catch the ants. Cause man, those ants had him dancing in his pants. He swallowed the ants to catch the tick, but it didn't do the trick cause he still felt oh sick. Oh. Then he went and swallowed a bear. You should have been there when he swallowed that bear. He swallowed the bear to catch the jackal. He swallowed the jackal to catch the bat. He swallowed the bat to catch the lizard. He swallowed the lizard to catch the ants. Cause man, those ants had him dancing in his pants. He swallowed the ants to catch the tick, but it didn't do the trick, cause he still felt sick. <gasps> oh, a tiger. A tiger? Hmm. Let's see. Now this old monster, he felt like crying. So the next thing he tried to swallow was a lion. Oh, do you think he'll be able to swallow the lion? All of a sudden, there came a great roar. And that monster was no more. <gasps> what happened to the monster? The lion swallowed the monster. Uh, I didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> All right, friends, what I want you to do, I'm going to put some monsters on my board here. And these are some cute little monsters. Can you help me count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, take both those hands for me. Wiggle those fingers, wiggle them high, wiggle them low, wiggle them out to the side, wiggle them on top of your shoulders, wiggle them on top of your head, wiggle them by your elbows, wiggle them on top of your knees, wiggle them out to the side, wiggle them back to the side, wiggle them behind your back, and wiggle them back to the front. Can you wiggle them really, 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 really fast? Can you wiggle them slow? Can you freeze them? All right, I want you to close them up. We're gonna sing a song about 10 little monsters. Here we go. One little, two little, three little monsters. Four little, five little, six little monsters. Seven little, eight little, nine little monsters. 10 little monsters roaring at me. Now, can you give me a roar? Roar! All right, let's do that again. We'll go a little faster, okay? Get your fingers ready. Close them up, here we go. One little, two little, three little monsters. Four little, five little, six little monsters. Seven little, eight little, nine little monsters. Ten little monsters roaring at me. Roar! All right, we're gonna do it one more time. This time we're gonna sing it and move our fingers super duper fast. Who can do it super duper fast with me? All right, let me see it. All right, fingers up. Ready to go? Now put them down. Are you ready? One little, two little, three little monsters. Four little, five little, six little monsters. Seven little, eight little, nine little monsters. Ten little monsters roaring at me. Roar! Good job. Well, I'm going to take some of my monsters off the board here. 
And then we're going to be left with how many monsters? Who can tell me? Who knows? One, two, two three, four, five. 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 I didn't now, even count. You didn't even count, huh? And I already knew. You already knew. Well, that's great. All right. What I need you to do now, I need you to hold up one hand this time with all five of your fingers up. Okay, we have five little monsters sleeping in my bed. One crawled out from under my spread. I called to Mama and Mama said, no more monsters sleeping in your bed. Oh, so we're gonna take one away. Now we have four. All right, everybody do it with me. Four little monsters sleeping in my bed. One crawled out from under my spread. I called to Mama and Mama said, no more monsters sleeping in your bed. Oh, now how many monsters do we have? Three. Three. All right, here we go. Three little monsters sleeping in my bed. One crawled out from under my spread. I called to Mama and Mama said, no more monsters sleeping in your bed. Oh, there goes another monster. Now how many? Two. Two. Two little monsters sleeping in my bed. One crawled out from under my spread. I called to Mama and Mama said, no more monsters sleeping in your bed. Oh, now how many monsters are left? One. Here we go. One little monster sleeping in my bed. He crawled out from under my spread. I called to Mama and Mama said, no more monsters sleeping in your bed. Now how many monsters? Zero or none. Good job, friends. All right, I'm going to share another book with you. And this book is called... That's right, this one has horns, this one does not have horns. Do you know what this book is called? Monsters Love Underpants. <laughs> I know, anytime we say underpants or underwear, it's so funny, isn't it? So, oh, look at all these colorful pairs of underwear. Hmm, how would you like to have underwear made out of grass? No? How about underwear made out of metal? Oh, hmm. Let's see what kind of underwear all these monsters have. Monsters think it's monster fun to creep around all scary, but there's something they love even more than looking mean and hairy. Monsters all love underpants and think pants are fantastic. They like all patterns, shapes, and styles, and twanging pants elastic. Look at all those monsters in their underwear. Look, this one even has underwear on his head. Hmm. Some prowl through dingy dungeons. Ooh. You hear them howling loudly? Creak. One finds squeaky armor pants, and clanks around so proudly. Oh, there he is. He's wearing that metal underwear. Oh, look at these monsters. Drool monsters from the steamy swamp fill pants with gooey slime. Mm, how would you like to have your underpants filled with slime? No. no. But, oops, their pants get slippery and slide down all the time. Wild, woolly mountain monsters make explorers faint with fright. Clomp! They snatch their frozen pants, then run off in the night. Oh, they stole the underpants from the campers up in the tent. At the bottom of the ocean, a pirate ship now rests, where sea monsters wear pants with jewels they've pinched from treasure chests. Oh, so they have diamonds and rubies and all kinds of sparkly jewels. You would wear those? <laughs> you buy some of those? 
Oh, what kind of monsters do you think these dudes are? Oh, let's see. The spiky, spooky space monsters all wave and roar. Hooray! Hooray! When out from blackest, deepest space, bright bloomers float their way. <laughs> Have you ever heard underwear called bloomers before? Uh -huh. Oh, it's such a fun word to say, too. Can you say it with me? Bloomers. Oh, look at th this monster. He's pretty big, isn't he? It's not the sand inside his pants that makes this monster twitchy. His underpants are way too small. I wish they weren't so itchy. It's Saturday, their disco night. They wear pants bold and brave. The password shh, is wobbly pants to get inside the cave. The monsters show their pants off as they dance the monster bop. Their pants clad bottoms jig and jive till someone yells out, Stop! They're dancing in their underwear. It's almost daylight. Quick, back home. We can't risk being spotted. For no one will be scared of us in pants all striped and dotted. Would you be scared of these monsters if you saw them in their underpants? I don't know. Look at that. He has polka dotted underwear on. And the other one got cow underwear. He does. He has cow underwear on. Hmm. So if you hear strange scuffles from beneath your bed, beware. You might just catch a monster trying on your underwear. I see one. I see oh. one. Do you see one? Oh, there he is. You gotta watch out. You, do you want those monsters taking your underwear? No. No? <laughs> All right, friends. What I want you to do, I want you to stand up. Can you do that? You've been sitting for a while. All right, we're gonna pretend we're monsters, okay? What I want you to do, put your arms out. Here we go. If you're a monster and you know it, wave your arms. If you're a monster and you know it, wave your arms. If you're a monster and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're a monster and you know it, wave your arms. If you're a monster and you know it, clap your claws. If you're a monster and you know it, clap your claws. If you're a monster and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're a monster and you know it, clap your claws. If you're a monster and you know it, gnash your teeth. If you're a monster and you know it, gnash your teeth. If you're a monster and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're a monster and you know it, gnash your teeth. If you're a monster and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're a monster and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're a monster and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're a monster and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're a monster and you know it, growl out loud. Growl! If you're a monster and you know it, growl out loud. Growl! If you're a monster and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're a monster and you know it, growl out loud. Growl! Good job. All right, can my monsters wiggle back down to the carpet for me? I'm going to come around and I'm going to give all my friends a monster to hold on to for me, okay? And we're going to sing another song here, and you get to help me with my monsters, all right? Go ahead and take one there. And you can look at your monster. Look at all of his eyes. Maybe he has sharp teeth. Maybe he has horns on his head. Oh, he might have antennas. He doesn't, well, not all of them do. Maybe he only has one eye. Maybe he has a long, scaly body. Oh, we'll just wait till you see all those monsters. There we go. All right, does everybody have a monster? All right. Let's look at some of these monsters. Oh, look at this monster. He's mostly what color? orange oh look he has two big eyes and he has some scales going down his back so that's our orange monster 
Oh, maybe you have this monster. What color is this monster mostly? Blue. Blue. Oh, how many eyes does he have? He has three eyes. And what does he have on top of his head? He has antennas. Oh, look at this monster. Jackson keeps telling me he has one eye. What color is this monster mostly? Purple. And he has stripes on his body. And then last of all, we have this monster right here. What color is this monster? He's kind of red, isn't he? And he has three eyes on top of his head. And he has these really tiny arms like this. Okay? I see it. Now, I hope everybody knows what color monster they have, okay? We're going to sing a song. And when I sing a song, I'm going to put one of the monsters on the board. And if your monster looks like my monster, you can bring him up and put him on the board, okay? But you have to wait till you see your monster, all right? Here we go. Let's look for some monsters. Are you ready? Monster colors, monster colors all around, all around. Who has a blue one? Who has a blue one? Show it now. Show it now. All right, if your monster looks like this, you can bring it up and put it on the board. Yeah, yeah. Does he have that one? All right. Do you have it right? All right, put it up there for me. Let's turn it around here. There we go. Good job. All right, Brady Pitcher's up there for me. All right, everybody go find your spot for me again. Go find your seat. All right, let's sing it again. Here we go. Rhett, can you sit right down there for me? Thank you. All right, here we go. Let's look for those monster colors again. Monster colors, monster colors, all around, all around. Who has a red one? Who has a red one? Show it now, show it now. All right, go ahead and put your red monster up there if you have a red monster. All right, go find your spot for me again, okay? Do you have a red monster too? All right, stick him right up there for me. Way to go. Oh, Alan has one. You want to put your monster up there, Alan? All right, Rip, sit on the carpet for me, okay? Way to go. Oh, we have two left. Here we go. Monster colors, monster colors all around, all around. Who has a purple one? Who has a purple one? Show it now. Show it now. Way to go. You guys are doing great with your monster colors. All right. We have one color left. Are you guys ready? Monster colors, monster colors, all around, all around. Who has an orange one? Who has an orange one? Bring it now, show it now. All right, oh, all those orange monsters are coming up to the board. Good job, friends. Good job, everybody. Give yourselves a hand. All right, we are gonna share one more book, okay? And Rhett, I need you sitting on the carpet for me, okay? Thank you. This book is about a monster who doesn't want us to read his book. And he says if we read his book, the title is, I Will Chomp You. What does that mean if you chomp something? You're going to eat it if you chomp it, right? You might bite it. So do you want to read it? Yeah. You think we should? No. Oh. <laughs> somebody says yes, somebody says no. We'll, we'll try a few pages, okay? Are you ready? If you turn any pages, says the monster, I will chomp you, buster. Don't turn the page. Don't turn the page. Who wants me to turn the page? Oh, oh, let's see. I'm going to turn the page. Here we go. No, no, no. Jump! Don't turn the page. Don't turn the page. Now, quit it, he says. Mm, should I try another one? No, no, no. No? You just want me to stop right here and we won't finish the book? Who wants to keep going? All right, we got a couple. Let's see here. All right, here we go. 
I'm warning you. You've been officially warned. I mean, he's, he's warning us. He wants us to stop. Should we stop? No. No? Yeah. Let's see. Chomp! Oh, that was close. <laughs> well, I missed, but I won't miss again. You do not want to turn another page, Buster. You do not want these feet running at you. You do not want these teeth chomping at you. That's it. Here it comes. Chomp! Oh. Arr, missed again. Oh, you are very good, Buster. Very good indeed. Oh, oh. Let's see what else he has to say, okay? Now I'm asking nicely. Please put the book down. Put the book down and read something else. Or go outside. Be good kids. Don't make me beg. Okay, I beg, I beg. Please, please, please stop reading. Do, do we want to stop? Who wants to keep reading? Me. Oh, majority wins. Here we go. I'm going to turn it. Are you ready? Ready? Chomp! <gasps> that was a big chomp. <sighs> you're too good for this old guy. I'm fast, but you're faster. I'll be okay. Just give me a moment. You're probably wondering why I'm so eager to chase you away. Hmm, do you want to know why he doesn't want us to read his book? Yeah, no. Oh, he says, he wants to know, can you keep a secret? Yeah. Yeah, can you, if he tells us, will you not tell anyone? Yeah. Let's see. Let's find out what his secret is. I do not want you reading this book because I have all my cakes back here at the end of the book. What's he hiding from us? Hey. Cakes. Mm. Why do you think he doesn't want us to know that he has cakes in the back of the book? He doesn't want to share. He doesn't want to share. He, he to you want to turn it now? You haven't wanted to turn it the whole time. Are you wanting some cake? Yeah. yeah. Well, well, let's see. Oh, look at all those cakes. They're beautiful frosted cakes. Cakes with sprinkles, cakes with chocolate, cakes with strawberries and vanilla. Pineapple upside down cake and pineapple right side up cake. There's angel food cake and Boston cream pie and coffee cake and cupcakes and fruit cake. All these lovely cakes. And we found them. Most people don't get this far. Most people are, are afraid of all my chomping. See, I don't like to share my cakes. I want to chomp them all. Hmm, they're all for me, he says. Chomp! Oh. Hmm, but I guess you can have a couple of these and maybe one of these cakes. And this, here you go. Oh, I think he's going to give us some cake. He says, come a little closer. Come a little closer. Oh, you think he's going to try to chomp us again? Let's see. Are, are you guys close enough? You ready? You ready to eat some cake? Yeah. Here we go. Are you sure? Here we go. Chomp! Oh. He didn't get you though, did he? You win, he says. How about this? I'll give you half my cakes if you promise never to read this book again. You promise? You promise. And he'll give us half his cakes. Let's see. You're not going to start over, are you, Buster? Are we done? Okay. I can see you are going to do whatever you want. Fine. 
Go ahead and turn all the pages again. Yeah. What do I care? Jump, 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 jump. What did he do to all the cakes? He ate them. He ate them. Oh, guess what he says now? My stomachers. Oh, that was a fun book, wasn't it, friends? All right, can my friends stand to their feet with me? We are going to do one last song, one last dance, but before we do that, I forgot. What if I were a monster and I look like this? Hmm. How about this? Is that better? Uh-uh. No? I bet you would like me if I looked like that, huh? No. no. Aren't I a cute monster? No. Yeah, I got one. Brady's shaking his head. Brady says. Yeah. All right, friends. Now, let me show you what you get to make today. What do you think it could be? A monster. You do get to make your own monster. And guess what he can do? Chomp. Oh, see, look, he's got a big mouth. He's got all those teeth in there. He's pretty easy to put together, friends. He has a purple body, and then there's another small piece of purple paper. You can kind of make the top part of that a flap and glue it down, and then glue his mouth and his tongue inside and his teeth. Don't forget his big green nose. He has stickers for eyes. He has two arms and two legs, okay? Oh, and look, what does he have on top of his head? Um, horns. He has horns, okay? All right, we are gonna do freeze dance. When you hear the music, dance, move, but when the music stops, we have to freeze. All right, friends, here we go. Let me start over. Hey, you. Wrong song. 